Hi, Carla. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. How was your weekend? Um, was, um, the most interesting thing about the weekend was uh, being soup. <laughs> you a supervisor now? No, soup the uh, beans soup. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Uh, I I thought, <laughs> the better I heard... part of the weekend. Oh, good. Hey, bean soup is good. It is good with avocado and oh, yeah. cream and cheese, everything. Nice. In the, the smallest things are better. The simple. Yeah, that's true. Like sometimes a tortilla with cheese, but like a uh -huh. recent recent made tortilla is so good. It's so good. It's like a normal, uh, like you can say it's not that important, but it can make your day. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's true, definitely, I believe you. And what else? How was your weekend? Uh, and your, did you go out or anything? No. I was a, I, I, I'm not a person who go out normally. <laughs> so okay. this, quarant this quarantine, this uh, pandemic situation is not like a huge thing. I never go out. <laughs> Okay, it was not different for you. Yeah, it was not different. Oh, okay, that's good. Me too. I don't like to go out anymore. I like to be my home. Hello, Veronica. Hi. How are you? I think a little bit tired. I have a lot of yeah. things to do today. Yo, you're <laughs> early today. Uh, almost. Two minutes. Two minutes early. <laughs> Did you guys have an interesting weekend? Mm. 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 It's a regular one. What's a regular weekend for you, Gio? Because um, I know that a regular weekend for you is not a regular weekend for someone else. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, just nothing. Just watching movies and uh, uh, a dinner, some beers, and uh, just no. really, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that's cool. Hey, that's a good weekend. Yeah, that was a really good. Um, it's hot. Like the hot season is starting to kick in. Do you understand that expression, kick in? And something is starting? Yes. It's like when you take medicine. And maybe the medicine is strong. Uh -huh. You say, oh, man, I think the medicine is starting to kick in. Hmm. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Hello Adriana. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, let's start. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Yes. Did you have a good a good Valentine's? Sad Valentine. Yes. Did you do anything special? Only share with my family. Oh, good. I didn't do anything special. I'm married. <laughs> yeah. Valent a... Yes. <laughs> when we were boyfriend girlfriend, yes. But not any. Now we're married. Give me a cake. I bought her a pinguino. <laughs> I want dinner. There are pupusas around the corner, and they were good. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, let's start. Let me see where did we are going to start section four, week four, section four. So let's do this. Hold on, let me look for it. All right, do you see my screen? See, yes, sir. All right, it says 4.0 <laughs> lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use reduced time clauses reduced so let's see what this is all about so let me find the audio hi are you can you hear yep yes all right Hi, are you ready to learn about reduced time clauses? Stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some other clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases, but only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. If you use time expressions like right before, before, right after, after, and while, the time clauses can be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Notice how on the second sentence we omit the subject and change the verb finish to present participle finishing. Remember the present participle always ends in ing. This is another example using while. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. It can be changed too. While taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five-minute nap. Notice we omitted the subject again and the verb take became taking. However, other time clauses cannot usually be reduced. For example, ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I've had my coffee break, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I've been at night person from the moment I started college. All right, so let's practice this right now. Um, so it says... Do you see here, after I finish my work, I head to the office. Two I's in one sentence. So a reduced time clause would be after finishing my work, I head to the office. So we just use the verb with ing. Um, let me see what's here. Adriana, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Okay. Adriana, what do you do after waking up in the morning? Sorry, sorry. What do you do after waking up in the morning? Uh, after waking up in the morning, I take a shower. Okay. And after that, uh, I take lunch. Lunch. All right, good. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, yes. can, um, Veronica, what are you used to eating with your coffee? Uh, a cupcake, a muffin, a cake, whatever. But uh, answer <laughs> complete though. I usually eat my with my coffee a uh, a bread, especially cake. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. It was um, my, actually my example was I drink coffee after I eat lunch. 
I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. I'm used to. I drink coffee, coffee after uh, after my lunch, like uh, three I'm p.m. Used, maybe. Yeah. Okay. After eating my lunch, I drink coffee. Yes. Yeah. So after eating my lunch, I drink coffee. Good. All right. So you understand what that means? Class? Yes. yes. When I was a little boy, after going to the doctor's um, clinic, my mother took me to... Pollo <laughs> Campero. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> for McDonald's. After I finish my my injection, for example, for the doctor, my father bought me uh, an ice cream. Yeah. Always. But have you noticed that in El Salvador, Pollo Campero is a celebration for everything? After donating blood, they take you to Pollo Campero. After baptizing, <laughs> after baptizing, they take you to Pollo Campero. Sometimes after graduating, they take you to Pollo Campero. Do you know that in Pollo Campero in San Miguel, they sell tortillas, not bread? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Miguelian people do not like bread. They like their tortillas. Okay, and then the last... Ex yeah, in Guatemala too. Cannot usually be ready. Is that about, is that about too? <laughs> no, but over here we do accept, you know, if they give us bread with chicken, all right, no problem. But San Miguel, they say, no, we want tortillas. Ever since. Here we cannot reduce. Here we have to say the complete sentence, okay? What is ever since? Since that moment, since that second, until now, it has not changed. Let me give you an example. One, like 10 years ago, I fell from a roof. I fell from a roof and I couldn't get out because the house was locked. Ever since that day, I am claustrophobic. Yes. Um, can you give me an example, Veronica? Mm. Ever since I saw we, I was a kid, I I was a child. Oh. Have, uh -huh. I was a child. I have to study a lot. <laughs> I. I had to study a lot. Yes, I like it. <laughs> okay, no, but it's I have. It's not I have. It's I, I have. have. I have studied. All right, good. Can you give me an example, Jaime? Hi. Using ever since. Ever since. Ever since I ever since I ever since I was studied uh, as a study I always uh, I always study every day. I don't understand. Ever since I study, I always study every day. Yeah, for, uh, for example. Oh, ever since, ever since I... You know what? Yeah, okay, I understand. But don't think complicated. Just use something. Ever since I was a, a kid, I like Brooke Shields. Remember Brooke Shields? I, I like Brooke I Shields for a, the Blue Lagoon. Ever since I was a child, I like to play soccer. Excellent. That's a very good example. Yes. Ever oh, some people say ever since I could remember. 
which is the translation like this, like I tengo memoria. <laughs> yeah, ever since I could remember, I like um, rock music. Yes. All right. Next is, okay, so do you have any questions with ever since class? We're okay? Okay. And you know, you can do you can do the typical, ever since I saw you, I knew I loved you. That is good. <laughs> if you believe it is good. Yeah. But you know, you know, single people, you can tell that, you know, to the girl. Wow, you know, I need to tell you something. What, ever since I saw you, I can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Or ever since I saw you, my world has changed. <laughs> it's true. People say it. You had a very good day and, yesterday. And, and people believe it. No, man, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> it was a normal day. What do you mean? <laughs> it was a sopa de pata normal day. I went to. <laughs> 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 I am married and I have a son. children are precious. Of course, yes. But maybe like 10 years ago, yes, it would have been a, especially if it's the first Valentine's, you know, like, oh, we're very creative. But then after that, nah. <laughs> I went to church when I was when I was after my wife. Imagine that. I can imagine. <laughs> Every Sunday, like for three months, I was in church, like, <laughs> like oh, we're fine, we're fine, and doing all that. You know, it's what men have to do. <laughs> okay, next we have as soon as. Or you can say as soon as, but be careful. Remember, because some people say as soon as. So you can say uh, there are three words. You can say as soon as or as soon as. Okay, for example, Gio, what do you do as soon as you get paid? <laughs> Pay the bills. <laughs> okay, good. So, yes, of course. Yeah, you know, when you're married, that's the first thing you do. When you're single, as soon as you get paid, what do you do? You call your friends. Yeah. Hey, what's up tonight, man? I don't have no money. I'm not asking you if you have money. I'm saying, <laughs> what's up tonight? <laughs> okay, so answer complete, Gio. What do you do as soon as you get paid? As soon as I get paid, uh, paid? The, I paid the first thing I do is paid my bills. Very good. Ingrid, what is the first thing you do as soon as you get home? When I get home. As soon as you get um, home. As soon as I get home, I change the clothes. Very good. Good answer. Me too. That's what I do. As soon as I get home, yeah, I go to directly. Spark, to spark clothes. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. As soon as I get home, <laughs> I change to my home clothes. My <laughs> favorite. So I'm going as, to, as, to, as, to as exercise soon, by this day. As soon, <laughs> as, soon English, uh, as soon as English get at home, uh, take a, take a shower in the in the garage. After that, no. for for the COVID, for the COVID, no. Yeah. No, but yeah, you know. But I, I, now, yeah, at the beginning, that was popular, huh? Yeah, I, it was. I, I think I did that like three times. When You know, when it was the quarantine and you had to go to the supermarket, when I got home, you know, take a shower. Hmm? I, yeah. was, I was the guy, the, the, the old family is, is waiting for you. And then you are putting, putting uh, water with a with a bucket to put the gower in and then after that you, you, you are you but can you, to the but Jaime you don't put water house. 
you don't put water because you're talking about the water. Water, water with, 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 uh, with salt. Okay, good. But that's like, okay, but I know what you're trying to say, but uh, how do you say that? How do you say, Shh. because you're saying as soon as I got home, people, they did this. Shh. No, no, no. It, it, it's with, with the song. It, with, with not, not really with, with Manguera. With, with, I don't know. We, we are, we are putting, getting, I don't know, with the, take a, take a shower. But all the family have a, no, with, with some escoba. Cleaning, cleaning the, all, you know, that some, Wait. some video, some video that is, is in the social, social network. It is, I don't know about that, that the people, well, uh, before uh, after at the at the home, you are you are you know, cleaning all the the. Yes, but but the expression. Person. Yes, but what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't say you put water, you spray water. Spray water. Yes, you spray, or you throw. What kind? Throw of water. Throw, throw. Throw water. You throw water. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, Jose Marvin. I'm sorry, Jose Aguilar. Hi. Hey, hello, everyone. Hello. 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 What is something you do as soon as you wake up? Okay, as soon as I wake up. Oh, I'm sorry, Let, let's change to third person. What is something a woman does as soon as she wakes up? As soon as what? Repeat it. Can you repeat it? Uh, a, a typical woman today, yeah. what is the first thing she does as soon as she wakes up? Oh. Um, ah, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look. Uh, let me see. I understand for your the, the dynamic, okay? I think uh, she soon as... No. Yeah. Let me see. She soon as... Oh no, Erika, as soon as she wake up in the morning, she watch his cell phone. Her cell phone. He, his cell phone, yeah. Her, her cell, cell phone. Her, her, sorry, yeah. Her cell phone. Her cell phone and your cell phone. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what? She tells me that Mechanical, <laughs> Juan, that Mechanical Juan writes to you very yeah. late. So stranger, yeah. yeah but imagine when said head in empresa, why does he write to you at one in the morning? <laughs> yeah, and they say, and always you say, Hey, hello, I miss you. <laughs> imagine something, <laughs> when yeah, you, you know. So, I you have to tell your wife, Well, you know, he, he always gets drunk, so maybe he confuses, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so terrible. No, 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 no. Hello, Jordan. I want to hear your voice. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good night. <laughs> I'm fine. Quite good, busy. Good night or but... good evening? Good night. Hmm. Carla, can you explain to her the difference between good night and good evening? Good night is first one you want to say goodbye. You leave to and yeah. good evening is like, like buenas, something like that. <laughs> Yes. When you when you go to the bed. You know, like when you go to the store, buenas. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, good evening. Hi, yeah. good evening. Oh no. So, I know. Yeah, Jordana. So when you walk into a party or a reunion, yes. Then you say, Hello, good evening. And when you leave Afternoon. you say, Yeah, even evening as velada. Yes. And when you going home, you say, okay, good night. Okay. Got it. That was interesting. I thought that it was just like, good evening, like between six or five and seven and after seven, good night. Yeah, no, no, it's actually, um, um, you also at night, very late at night, if you go to somebody's house or something, you can say good evening. Oh, okay. But good night is only for goodbye. For goodbye. 
-hmm. Yes. Okay, good to know. Thank you. All right, cool. Now, uh, Rosa Elena, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. I like your background, the, the oh. rose, the R and the rose, <laughs> and the black R. Nice. Okay, what is until, Rosa? Until. Until. May I see in Spanish? Or no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, until I, I began to work, I could buy a car. Good. So until it's a it's an action in the past. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and the second action does not exist without the past action. Yeah. Like what Rosa said, until I began to work, I could buy a car. So before she began to work, she couldn't buy a car. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Veronica? Yes, sir. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Ruth. Hi. Hello. Hello. Tell me how life was in El Salvador until COVID came. Uh, could you repeat the, the answer? Yes. Hey, look at my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like evil things. Well, this is like cute, but I like I like anything that has skulls or beetle juice or dark. <laughs> okay, so tell me, well, how was El Salvador until COVID came? How was? And uh, El Salvador is a, is a the people never take uh, care with uh, about her health. Um, okay, okay, that's good. In El Salvador, nobody worried about their health. Yes. Um, repeat. Repeat. Okay. And in El Salvador. The Salvador, yeah. The Salvador, no, nobody worried about their health. About their health. Until. Until uh, until until the pandemic, uh, the COVID, until the COVID came, or until the COVID kicked in. Until what? The COVID? Until the COVID kicked in. Until the COVID came. It came. Came. Until the COVID came. Until okay. the COVID. Kobe, the COVID was not in El Salvador one year ago, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. But it came. The past of come is came. It came. Okay. Yes. So in El Salvador, people didn't care about their health until the COVID came, right? Okay. Or the majority of people didn't care, and still people don't care, but <laughs> but more people care now. Yeah. All right. Very good. So that's um, that. That's when you say. Um. That's when you say until. Next, we have whenever. What is whenever? Whenever. Whenever. Check it as soon. Whenever. Whenever is any time. It could be one in the morning, one in the afternoon, any time. It can be Monday, it can be Tuesday, Saturday. So whenever you need me, I'll be there. That's a typical lie. Friends. No, okay, so whenever is any time. Yes. 
Hey, call me whenever, man. No problem. Call me whenever. Yes. Um, I have. Do you know what is tripophobia? Yeah. Whenever I see something, I I freeze. I. Ugh. You had tripophobia, Gio? I don't think so. No, I don't. There is a when, test in YouTube. When I, you see holes, the, so many yes. holes, little holes or bobs. Yes. <laughs> Whenever I see that, oh man, just imagining right now the hairs in the back of my neck. Whenever you I see what? We are filled with little holes in the hand. Yeah, like the people fold it. You know, I, I didn't know I had that until, uh, until I remember where I used to work, there was a sunflower next to me. <laughs> Do you know what is a sunflower, right? Yeah. And that sunflower had a lot of holes in the middle, a lot. Yeah. And I don't know why every time I looked at that plant, it was very uncomfortable. Like, oh. Everybody said that plant was beautiful or rose. I don't know what it is. If it's a flower or oh, yeah, it's a flower, my sunflower. <laughs> but <laughs> eh, eh, oops, <laughs> um, everybody says, "Oh, what a beautiful flower!" And I always said, "Oh man, why is it so ugly?" So that's hmm. when I discovered I had tripophobia. Um, you don't know what tripophobia is, Jordana? No, but now I can imagine. Yeah, I, oh, hold on, let me see. So looking a lot of holes, like tiny holes or? Yeah. Yes, right. but it's kind of strange because it's like irregular holes. Okay. Ooh, but that's like disgusting. What happened okay. there? Okay, maybe, but. but uh. <laughs> that was not okay. but, but, you know, it is disgusting but people tolerate many people just say oh that's ugly I can't tolerate like like this is a flower look okay yeah I don't know if you can see it well yeah I can see it oh man I can't see that and <laughs> what is the last iPhone what iPhone are we on? 12, 13? 12. 12. 12. Um, I think they had problems because many people that had tripophobia, they did not like all the cameras in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yes. oh. in the marketing, of, they didn't think about that. Like, oh my God, yes, it's true. So <laughs> it, that in, affected a little because people that had tripophobia will not buy the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's whenever. Remember, whenever is any time. Okay. Okay, boys, yes or no? Whenever you're surfing channels and you see Rambo, you stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes or yes, of course, or die hard. The first blue part one. Yeah, sorry, part two. <laughs> so yeah. Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> My wife tells me, you've seen that movie a thousand times. It's Rambo, man. <laughs> it's Rambo. Yeah, it's you know. Rambo. Or Die Hard. <laughs> die whenever, Hard. Whenever you go out. Die Hard 3. Yeah. No, but Die Hard 1 and 2 are the best. Part 1 and 2. No, you know, it, that, that always happens, you know. I don't know, in my case, I can be searching channels and whenever I see the typical Rambo, Rocky movies, oh, hey, Rocky. And you get happy, like, hey, Rocky, like like you never seen that movie before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I watched Rocky Four on Saturday. All right, so that's whenever. Do you get hungry whenever you pass by a Pollo Campero? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I get hungry when I. 
or when I see a Nutella, I get anxious. Okay, so we have no, no questions with whenever, correct? Yeah. And next is from the moment. Really from the moment is similar to ever since. But from the moment you're being more specific. From the moment I started working, life was never the same again. Remember when you didn't have to worry about anything? Yeah, but from the moment you start working, oh, life is very different. It's not bad, but it's different. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see what's next. Hello, Laura. I hadn't seen you. I'm sorry. I hadn't seen you. All right, listening exercise. Let's do this. Listen to Sean, Lisa, and Victor talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Let's listen to them. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. One, Sean. You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. Two, Lisa. I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work and we have two small children. So we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three. Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but... As soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. All right, who has too little time? Lisa. Lisa. Good. Too much traffic. Victor. Too many responsibilities. Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Sean? Yeah. Sean. All right. Now, listen again. What solutions has each person found? Let's see. If, do you remember? Or do you want to listen to it again? Yeah. What solution has did Lisa sleep? find? Yeah, has kids sleep has over? Has kids sleep over, over a friend's house and has a quiet time? Yeah. I wish I could do that with my son, but I can't. 
<laughs> because I know that he will do something like break something in the east. <laughs> yeah. What about Sean? What does he do? Calls home when feels stressed. Calls home when feels stressed out. Good. Victor? Leaves home, Leaves home early. 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 I do that too. I, I prefer to leave early and in the morning and drive easily to work. Okay, good. We did reduce things losses. Okay, next it says express expressions related to sleep. If you like to sleep, oh man, we're gonna learn some expressions today. Mm -hmm. Hi, what are your sleeping habits? We'll teach you some expressions about sleep. Expressions related to sleep. Be fast asleep. Be sound asleep. Be wide awake. Drift off, feel drowsy, have a sleepless night, not off, I sleep like a log, take a power nap, toss and turn. We want you to write the following categories on your notebook. Number one, having trouble sleeping. Number two, falling asleep. Number three, sleep in a short time. Number four, sleeping deeply. Put the expressions just learned about sleep in the right columns. Then compare your answers with a partner in class. Okay. I am fast asleep. Are you that type of person? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I definitely am. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> anywhere I sit, I sleep. Do you be sound asleep? What is sound asleep? Sound asleep is what? Right. Yeah, I mean, you are. <laughs> you are sound. It's like you are in the third dream by now. No. There can be an earthquake in this moment. It won't wake you up. Yes. Wide awake. What is wide awake? Wide awake is this. Man, yesterday it was three in the morning and I was wide awake. I was like, Like, no sleep at all. I am wide awake. I have that trouble. Not yeah. in this moment, but in quarantine. That's real. Yeah, it's true. Many people many people change their sleeping habits in quarantine. Yeah. That is wide awake. It's like, oh my God, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. What is drift off? Well, this is an expression. Do you understand what drift is? No, drift off is like when you go in a boat and you drift off. So Ethan was way he drift off. <laughs> this is an expression. Feel drowsy. Have a sleepless night. Have you ever had a or many sleepless nights? I did in my 20s. 
I remember going inside my house and then the alarm ringing, beep, 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 beep. Like, oh my God. Just... I remember one time I was going up the stairs to my room and the alarm started ringing for me to wake up. So I went to the bathroom and just took a shower. If I do that today, I die. I think. <laughs> Leap like a log. What is a log? Log, people. It's not dog, okay? It's log. Un tronco. Dormir como tronco. <laughs> Take a power nap. Teacher, teacher yes. can you explain feel drowsy? I don't understand it. Drowsy. Yeah. What is... Yeah. yeah. You know, I... I don't know why this has to do... Well, I feel drowsy. I'm going to sleep. I feel drowsy. Is I don't feel very good. Like, oh, what happened to Gio? He says he feels drowsy, so he went to sleep. He feels drowsy, yes. He had, he drank 22 Coca-Colas. <laughs> okay. No, that, that is the expression. When you can is well, you can sleep. No, when, when you don't feel well, it's it's just an excuse to tell people, okay, but hi, um, bueno gentes, I feel a little drowsy, so I'm gonna go to sleep. So yeah. I don't feel good. But it's just an excuse to say I'm going to sleep. Like when you have family, family visit you. No se van los hijos de su madre. No se van. <laughs> you know, you start like, oh my God, man. 10, 11. You're like, yeah, yeah. You know what? I feel a little drowsy. Can we continue tomorrow? And <laughs> All right. Nod. Well, first, what is nod? Nod. This is nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, but nod is this. Like, hey, can you hear me? You know, can you talk? Nod, nod yes, nod no. Wow, Gio, did you ever watch that video of one from Metallica? Yeah. Do you understand that video? Well, uh, it's about yeah, the movie. Yeah. yeah, it's about that movie, the Johnny. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Can you he, imagine that? Yeah. yeah. Pick up her, her hands and her feet. In the oh, war, yeah. he lost his arms, <laughs> his feet. He, he was blind and he couldn't speak yeah. from an explosion. So oh, he, he was doing the Morse code. Oh my yeah. God, that was terrible. Okay, toss and turn is another expression. Toss is toser. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Toss is tirar, yeah. like, okay. Toss and turn. Mm. That's like when you fix your bed, your your pillow, like, and you turn, and you're set. Okay. Let me see what yeah, other like examples. <laughs> okay, having trouble sleeping. Sleeping a short. Ingrid, you had trouble sleeping, or you had trouble falling asleep. I had travel in the past. Uh, sometimes, um, yes, I had. Sometimes um, I fall asleep easily. Sometimes take a little bit more time. But I help myself uh, with meditation. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Remember, having trouble sleeping, that means... That when you're actually sleeping, you wake up for no reason. Yes. And Having when trouble. You have a nightmares. Yes. Nightmares. Nightmares. Yes. And when you're having trouble falling asleep, that means sueño. You you don't. 
you can't fall asleep. That's like when you drink five cups of coffee in the night. I if you drink, I'm sorry. Nights complete without sleep. <clears throat> yeah. That was that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people that drink coffee at night, they have problems falling asleep. No, that's no problem for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I too, can, you know, coffee I doesn't affect take, me. No, no. All yes, right. um, switch. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Sleeping a short time, that's sleeping. <laughs> sleeping a short time is a nap. Do you think naps? Whenever it's possible, yes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, I take a nap like in my naps. lunch. Near lunch? Yeah. My naps are about an hour or two, oh, man, maybe. That's, that's, so cool. <laughs> that's not a nap, probably. But... No, I think, I think that's sleeping, Jordan. <laughs> 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 yeah, that that's that is sleeping. A two hour nap is sleeping. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Naps are usually like uh 15, 20 minutes. You, know, you, tell, you finish eating and you tell people, hey, wake me up when 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 the bell rings or something. Okay. So and how did this finish? I had to think of any questions. Sometimes where I live, we have we have trouble sleeping because, especially on the weekends, because you hear the cars raising. Uh, and now there's motorcycles because I live I live right next to Hawara, El Paso El Paso Hawara. And on the weekends, usually like at one or two in the morning, they start racing and that. And you hear the echoes. I get really angry. Okay, losses, stating reasons and conditions. Let's listen to this video. Stating reasons and conditions. Hello. Even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason. As long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks, just in case one of them doesn't go off. 
or I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself, then share them in class. Okay, even if. Let me give you an example and maybe you can tell me one. I think that even if Rafiq Handel says he is sorry and FMLN will change, they won't win. He won't win. Maybe Rafiq, maybe FMLN wins other, but I, Javik Nandal, I don't think, do you think he, he has an opportunity? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Even if he asks for forgiveness, okay. like uh, Rodolfo Parker, I don't think he has an opportunity too. Even if he cries, Yes. Um, that's another one. Cry. Even if you cry, I'm not going to give you your toy back. Those are conditions. Ingrid, would you forgive a boy if he were unfaithful to you? Yeah, but uh, I'm not if going he... to come back with him. <laughs> no, but listen to this. But, but, <laughs> no, I, but I want, I want, I want you to answer me. The even fists if, are down. Okay, only, but <laughs> you, you're only going to answer me, even if, of course, if the answer is negative. Uh, even so, if I forgive. No, no. So listen to this. Imagine you have a okay. boyfriend, Ingrid. Uh huh. Would you forgive your boyfriend if there's a condition, class? If if he kisses another girl, but he doesn't remember because he was drunk. Because he got amnesia. Yeah, because he got amnesia. <laughs> well, I for I forgive him, but no, even I forgive it, if, even I forgive well, him. In this case, even if doesn't no. count because you're no. saying you are you are being positive so in this case it would be i would forgive him if he kissed another woman but he doesn't remember because he was drunk now if it was negative you can say i wouldn't forgive him if he kissed another woman even if he was drunk yes you know how like women say i would never like you, even if you are the last man on earth. It's like conditions. <laughs> yes. um, would you return? Imagine you go to a public bathroom, Jordana. You go to a public bathroom and you find a purse. The purse has a lot of money, $3,000 cash, some gold jewelry, but the purse has a wallet and the wallet has documents. Would you return it? Yes, I will. You're done at $3,000 in jewelry. If they were maybe 100 without purse, without wallet, maybe. <laughs> But 3,000, it's too suspicious. So, no thanks. I would return the documents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would give the documents to a security. A hey, sir, look, this I'm were dead. in the bathroom. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and run, run like hell. Run like Forrest Gump. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah that's that's tricky. But what I want yeah. what I want you to yeah. know is that we say even if for something negative. Even if for something negative. So even if there were five thousand dollars, I will return them. I would I'll return, return it. I would return yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would. Okay. It's tempting. It's very tempting. Yeah. Yeah. That happened to me one time. Really? Why? Well, but it wasn't five thousand dollars. I think it was. It was three hundred and eighty-seven dollars. I think. I found a wallet. Okay. In that company, I was teaching in that company, and I remember. I asked to speak with the manager because I wasn't going to leave it to the receptionist. Mira, si viene alguien y pide, ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was thinking, no, I have to do the right thing. And um, it was 300 something dollars, man. And um, temptation is bad because I thought about it. I thought, no, let's go. Just leave the wallet, but no, stupid me. I asked to speak with the manager and I explained to him the situation, but I told him, can you give me my, uh, I will give you my telephone number and please give me a call or when the person receives the, the, the wallet. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, don't worry. Well, yes, the person did call me and she says, thank you, you're an angel. And I did something great that day, but I felt like, Garbage. <laughs> because I was thinking $380. And you know, everybody was telling me, oh, don't worry. You see, you're a nice person. God will pay you. God will pay you. That day, that week, somebody robbed the battery from my car. My my tire punched, like it, it blow, exploded. Everything bad happened to me that week. And ever since that day, I am still waiting for my reward for being a good person. <laughs> so next time I find something, I'm taking it. No, I'm sure. <laughs> good. No hey, wallet I, in it. I, no, I, I would just leave the documents, you know, to teach that person a lesson. But I take the money. <laughs> But you see, so I, I, I use it ever since, even if, yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, class, I hope you have a great uh, week. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank have you. a happy Tuesday. Good night. Good night. Good night.